are super excited. We are building a ramp in guess where? West Virginia. We're going to a small town called Ravenswood. We were reached out about a year ago from the community with their parks and rec department. The town's dealing with an ongoing effort to address issues related to substance use in the community. And so they thought by revamping the local parks, the jungle gyms, adding a skate park for the teens that hopefully we could turn this community around and offer some benefit and advantage to the youth. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, baby. OC Ramps, OC Ramps, right? Ooh, West Virginia bag. Oh, baby. OC Ramps. The one hiccup with this particular project is the location. They are nowhere near an airport, so we are gonna have to spend some time investigating the logistics of how to arrive at this location of Ravenswood. What we found is that we're gonna have to fly into Columbus, Ohio, so we'll have a long flight out of LAX, where we'll rent a car and then drive at least two hours to Ravenswood. We're gonna stay at a small town next to Ravenswood in a hotel, because again, there are no hotels within this community. On day one, I am hoping that we'll land, grab our tools, and at least stop by the site just to take a quick visit and make sure that the pallet arrived safe. Keep out. Active construction zone. How cold is it right now? <laughs> it's too cold, bro. I don't do cold. <laughs> Not being here. <laughs> We're here at the community center. Confirm everything delivered here in good order. This concrete pad was freshly poured and cured. We're gonna knock it out all in a single day. Hoping to be done at about three or four in the afternoon. I did notify the town that we should be done by four. So that way they could invite a few of the local community members to watch our pro skater in action, Christian Shreka. When we're done with the ramp, I'm hoping to treat the guys with a good meal. The very next morning, we drive two hours back to Columbus, Ohio, and then travel back. Follow along. We made it, had a layover in Chicago. We are now in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna rent the car, cross the border into West Virginia, rest for the night, and tomorrow we build. West Virginia. We just got a rental car. We're two hours away from West Virginia, so let's go. Right. West Virginia! <laughs> we are here. We made it. We made it. We just arrived at the build site here in West Virginia. Gonna grab the tools, plug them in, lay out the framing, begin building. I think it's about it's about 25 degrees outside right now. Is it cold? Well, I'm freezing, bro. I'm always cold though. It doesn't matter where I go. I have to travel with sunscreen. That's the Irish and Scottish blood in me. Does anyone want sunscreen just for that good nose? <laughs> It's nine in the morning, we're here on the job site. It's freezing. We just started taking apart the pallet. We're gonna set up the half pipe right here. And then we got three other obstacles to build, a grind box, a quarter pipe, a couple rails or a spine, something like that. Let's get to building. For those that don't know, this is exactly how the pallet delivers to your house. The ramp kit's all broken down, and now it's time to unload. It helps if you have a buddy. It also comes with step-by-step -step instructions, all your screws ready to go. Time to build. OC ramps. For a solid. When we put in the coping, one of the most important two by fours is the two by four that goes directly under the coping. We wanna make sure that the coping doesn't stick out too far or is too recessed in. So we make sure that we use our straightest two by four to prevent any curvature. We're gonna put in the screws now and then we're gonna have a support underneath it that's gonna form a T shape and that'll make this super strong. Right here, we are putting together our two two by fours that come together and make an L because this is a high impact area. We want to make sure it's extra sturdy. All right, right here, we're putting another double reinforcement on our L bracket along the coping because you don't want this front piece right here to ever bow. That's how you end up with a mini ramp that's got giant coping on it. So this is double enforced, so it always stays the same. We run three screws along each eight foot piece, so it stays extra solid. The coping goes in place. 
Now I'm gonna pick the straightest two by four. We put the coping down first because the coping is one of the most important parts of a skate ramp. You don't want it to stick too far out. We already notch out the coping inlay on our CNC machines, but there's certain preferences that you could adjust. It is important, this guy goes first on the front. Make sure you get it as close as possible to the coping. Part two is the back support two by four. We put in all the two by four supports, then we'll drill in the coping. The last two by four is gonna support both of these two. So on these 12 foot ramps, you're gonna have two sections come together, which means two sections of coping come together. So on these inside parts right here, you wanna be super precise. Make sure that your coping is lined up exactly super flush with the edge of your ramp right there. Money. Now the framing is done, we're gonna shift things around and place it where we want. Looking good, OC ramps. All right, now it's time to screw it all together. We're gonna screw it at all the seams and you're gonna wanna make sure that every piece of the ramp is exactly level. You don't want anything fluctuating at all because then you're gonna have some weird bubbles in your ramp. So you're gonna wanna put a screw about every foot on every seam. It's always good to use a crowbar. Now that we have the framed quarter pipes already done, we pushed it together and get the seam just perfect. So I'm gonna angle a screw so that I hit this two by four. And that way it's gonna bring the seam together and look, it's perfectly flush. So I've got my screw right here. I'm gonna go into this guy. Boom, perfect. And I'll do a couple, some going one way, other screws coming in from the other side. So I'll go from here and then into there as well. Multiple all the way down. And I want this seam flawless as I go. If one of them is raised up, it's an easy fix. You could get a crowbar and elevate the lower section. Whatever you gotta do to make sure that this is even. All right, time for the top decks. Framing's done, now we're on to plywood. Number one. Sheet number one. You want to start from the top, work your way down like you're reading a book. We want to make sure this outer edge is perfect, so oftentimes we'll use a hammer to tap the bottom to make sure it's flush. I might start off good up here, but sometimes the sheet might want to try and bow outward. So make sure you keep an eye on it. You don't want to use a hammer directly on this type of material. So you want to use something to buffer it, like a 2x4, 2x3. There's she ran. Got the little Caesars. Pizza time. Last piece. Now we're doing back supports. We just finished building the mini ramp. Now we're going to build three more obstacles that they requested. What do you think of the ramp? Oh yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah. Are you yeah, gonna skate yeah. it? Huh? Are you gonna skate it? Heck no. So we're doing a story on the new park that's going in here at Ravenswood. Oh fun, so we're gonna be on the news. Yes, OC ramps. OC ramps! She's ready, it's time to skate. Let's make some noise for Christian! Yeah, Christian!
All right, that's a wrap. Thank you, West Virginia. It's been a pleasure. Hey, my name is Katrina Ramsey, and I'm the Board of Parks and Recreation Superintendent. And it's my job to come up with visions and strategies to improve the parks in our little town. What else is going on besides the skate portion? Well, the theme of this park is everybody plays together so that we make sure we have something for every age to be entertained by, to relax by doing, becoming active with all members of their family, not just a certain age group, making sure that people that are on different planes of development, um, maybe if, the, if they have ADA issues, we want to make this park fully compliant. Like I said, everybody plays together. We shouldn't have one person. If you have a family that has some handicapped issues, they shouldn't have to sit on a bench and play because they're not able to get through the gravel and the mulch and everything else to get to the play equipment. I, that, that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to include everybody. How long have you guys been planning all these upgrades and development? Oh, I think, I mean, honestly, it started during COVID. We, this, this park had become so old and the structures were so bad we had to tear everything down. Then there was getting an overall picture of what to put in here, visiting other parks, and then honestly we had to you know, put out a bond, which is like a loan, to be able to pay for the project. And once we were able to get the funds, then make the designs and award it. So it's been three years, it, but it's, it's a good thing. Good things come with planning and take time. And so whose idea then was it to do the skateboard park and bring the half pipe and quarter pipe and rails? Was this your amazing idea? No, I can't take credit for that yeah. because we had been hearing it from kids and like the Limleys, they wanted skate pieces here. Kids were being ran out of parking lots and shopping centers. So we wanted to kind of find a space just for them and start small like this and see where it develops. So that's that's it. If if you're going to have a family come here and you have a kid that's 16 that's into skating, they should have something to do too. So now that we're done building the park, what are you hoping that the community is going to do with this skate portion? Support it. <laughs> Shred it? Yeah, it's a, yeah, hopefully you know, try something new that you haven't tried before. You know, buy a board, um, get out here and have some fun. They should do kick flips and heel flips and tray flips, right? Whatever you say. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Right, right. But, you know, kids should be out here. It's well lit. It's a safe area. They shouldn't be going somewhere and playing where they don't have any access to anything, where it could be dangerous. With all the safety measures that we've put in here, it's going to make it good for them to play here. How's your experience been so far working with OC Ramps? It's just been fantastic. It's, uh, we were glad to have you here and you're almost like a little part of our community now. Thank you, OC Ramps. We only wanted the best and who else would we call but OC Ramps? This is yes. one take. This is, we'll call her one take Katrina. One fun fact about this area is that Skatetopia is actually not too far from where we're building. It's just a few minutes down the road. And as you know, Skatetopia is pretty intense. So it's important for the Parks and Rec Department and us to work together and create something that could be used for beginners to intermediate skaters and even pro skaters to have a good time. One thing we all love about traveling when we go build these skate parks is the ability <laughs> to explore in the community or the city and town to see what they have to offer, what they're known for. None of us have ever been to West Virginia. Hi, this is Courtney from the Fairplane Yacht Club. I had to hook up OC Rims with some Fairplane Yacht Club merch for hooking up Ravenswood, West Virginia with a new skate park. So check out our shirts. So come on out here if you're ever in West Virginia. When I say West, you say Virginia. Ready? West. Virginia. West. Virginia. West. Virginia. West.